All right, coming out to the pond today after a little rain thunderstorm. Got to hit him with the six cents splashback 70 in bone. Got a pretty big breeze coming in as well, actually. Again, it's a pretty hot day, you know, mid 80s or so. Humidity is pretty high and I didn't really plan on coming out except for it kind of decided to rain just out of nowhere so I decided to come out for a little bit after the rain just to see if it would stir any of these bass up or anything like that just to see if I can get a couple bites. There's a bite right there. I don't know if you guys saw that little blow up. Just in a little pocket of open water. I've seen a couple of little strikes out here towards this. Not everything's kind of like a grass line out here, but it's the third little pop I've seen on the edge of this grass straight out here. So I'm gonna see. Kind of casted right in the grass. Cast on the right, right on the outside of it. Let's see if I can get that activity to blow up on this popper. Grass is thick. This wind's really blowing it around too. I've seen I've been seeing some pops out here, so. Definitely top water activity today. I think that's just because of the rain today, I'm sure. Oh, okay. There's a little hit. That not a big fish. I don't think there's tons of big fish in there. I did see one. That was that was a fish right there. Oh yeah. He crushed it. Nice. There we go. On that splashback 70 popper and bone right there. That was a nice little hit. That was pretty sick right there. Again, look at the, fi the fish compared to the popper. Not big at all, but nice little bass. Got a little bit of blood. Let's get him back in the water. But right at the edge of this grass line right here, hit it once, missed it. He sure did come back for it. First fish of the day though. Been out here maybe 10 minutes. Again, didn't even plan on coming out because it's been hot. But as you can see, we got a nice breeze and then it rained for about like 30 minutes. So I figured maybe it would kind of fire up the fish for a little bit. And then as I'm throwing the popper, I'm going to follow up, throw along the grass line with a little Cinco, just a little yum Cinco on the spinning rig. There's one. Get out of that grass. There we go. Oh. Hey, there's there's a fatter fish right there. Look at the belly on that guy. Little chunk. Beautiful largemouth.
fish on a little yum dinner on a little weighted shaky head there pull that back a little bit make it completely weedless and just uh fishing a quarter ounce shaky head there just to cast it in this wind and keep it down on the grass line see if we can get something under this tree huh I just like this tree. Throw the little Cinco in there. These pockets here. There's one in that pocket. Nice. That was sick. There we go. Again, guys, not not giant fish in here. But th this is a fun little pond. We'll get them back. <clears throat> this is a fun little pond. If you just want to go out and have some fun, catch some fish. And uh, who knows, maybe catch... Maybe catch a big fish while you're just catching little dinks and get surprised. But since there's so much grass, I could actually probably, um, next time I'm out here, maybe bring a bait caster and put like a 3 8 ounce weight, because the grass isn't really heavy and the pond isn't deep, and kind of just pitch out, pitch or flip out into these places in some of these, uh, some of these uh, grass areas here. Maybe be able to pick off a few bass that way as well. I mean, I could probably get away with the spinning gear that I'm using because the fish seem like they're not giant. And the grass isn't super, super thick to get through, but... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, that was sick though. Nice little bass. There we go. Better one of the day there. Perfect little bass. And that splashback 70 by six cents. Man, that scared the crap out of me. So I'm fishing past this grass right here. That grass right there. Fishing past that grass out. Out in the open, bringing it up close to the grass. And obviously I didn't want to get it all grassy, so tried to bring it up and over the grass. Brought it up really shallow. I bet you didn't get it on camera. I think I was zoomed in too much. And he literally hit pretty much like 10 feet in front of me. That was crazy. But I don't think I was, uh, think I was zoomed in too much. Probably didn't capture it, but hopefully it did. That's basically just what I did, and that bass came out of nowhere and just smoked this thing. Actually, I wonder if I can get. I'm gonna see if I can stand. Yeah, come up between this tree. Oh, there we go. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking about. Very clear pond. Kind of feel like this might be the deeper section right here. Oh, there we go. Yes. That's a better one. 
There we go. Nice fish. That's a healthy one. Perfect, there we go. Much better fish right there. You guys can see it's kind of, there we go. Nice LMB right there. I'm a little drop. Right out in front of this grass right here. See if you guys can see it. You see that grass out there? I think this is actually a little deep spot because you can't really visually see the grass out there. So I think this section on the pond right here might be deeper because as I go this way, it gets pretty dang shallow out there. So I think this might be a little good section to target just in a weird area to cast with these uh, trees and stuff all around me right here. So I got to try to make little kind of flips out there, but that wasn't a bad fish at all right there. Nice little strike. Rocking the uh, Daiwa Tatula TWS 7.3 to 1. Got an Enigma HPT rod right here. This is the 6.6 medium heavy. Good uh, jig spinnerbait Texas rig top water style rod. And um, I like this little short rod while bank fishing too because Honestly, I got all, all the fins around me, so a nice shorter rod helps me just cast a little bit better. There's one. There we go. He was out there pretty far. Nice. Another pretty healthy fish right there, munched it. There we go, another beautiful fish right there. Look how healthy he is. I mean, those are, they're just really healthy. Came from way out in the middle of the pond. Another one. Oh yeah, we got a fighter. Oh, he just popped off. I saw him swim away right there. Just popped off this grass. <clears throat> grass putting tension on those trebles. Pulled it right off, just thick. Thick grass. Might have found a nice little little hole out here. I'm drawing them up to the bait. All right, let me whip the frog around. Again, this is another Timu one. It's still that uh, jackal um, gavacho frog or whatever. Different color, kind of pinkish white. I gotta fish some of this grayish. Gotta throw it around in this grass. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Second cast. Oh yeah, look how he ate it too. He ate that thing perfectly. Nice fish. This is the second one I've bought off of Timu, and I think they're great frogs. We'll get this guy back. I think these are great uh, knockoff frogs, imitation frogs. I haven't had an issue with them yet, I'm sure. Maybe I'll get a bad one, but I'm gonna be ordering a bunch of these. I got a bunch already, but I think it's a really good frog for like two bucks or whatever it is. Crazy. Great deal on that, I must say. Super good deal. And uh, that's not how you cast into weeds. 
dislike. There we go. Come on, frog. Alright, let's try you again, huh? <laughs> 